Hi, I want to um, respond or discuss a little bit uh, Professor Martha Olney from the Department of Economics of um, UC Berkeley. She teaches uh, econ economic history, economics. So uh, in 2009, February, so she... Uh, made this video in the use uh, in an event in UC Berkeley um, in the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute the name of the lecture was how did we get here the credit crisis and the recession Martha only Department of Economics February 10th 2009 uh, let me just skip straight into some of the stuff that she said. All right, so uh, 18 minutes and one second into the lecture, she says something like, banks unwilling to lend would grind the economy to a halt. Sorry. This is, this is basically a quote from, from her. Banks unwilling to lend would grind the economy to a halt. She's referring to what happened in the, 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 how the crisis began, actually, that l banks were unwilling to lend to each other and to anybody else. And she claims that that would grind the economy to a halt. Okay, so I, 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 don't, I really don't see why. I wrote, I, I actually wrote uh, on YouTube, I responded. So, what I wrote is this. Banks don't serve a real purpose in the economy. Right? Banks don't create hamburgers. Banks don't build cars. Right? Bankers don't do anything. Nothing at all. They don't build houses. They don't make clothes. They don't fabricate anything. They don't manufacture anything. They don't teach us anything. Well, maybe, you know, central banks, they have these conventions and they discuss banking. But, 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 but other than banking, whatever that is, banks have no impact on our lives. Nothing. Nothing. The... the Olive trees grow olives, and we, we we can eat olives, and we can turn olives into olive oil, and put it in our, in our salad, and eat it, and enjoy it, with or without banks. All right, so, but but, but banks don't serve a purpose in the economy. They don't do anything. I mean, the economy. The question is, what's the question is what's the definition of this word economy? So. So I would assume that, you know, people say that the economy, you know, there, there's always an economy, right? A, a household has an economy. A person has an economy, right? So I, a household doesn't have a bank. So a bank is not necessarily part of, the, not necessarily part of the definition of an economy. In any case, all right, so if we just, if we destroy banks, if we simply dis completely destroy banks, then A, I, I, I put together a few uh, possible scenarios. What would happen if we destroy banks? And, you know, the, the word destroy banks, there is several options what that means. But let's just take the banks and destroy the current banks. So what would happen? So A the economy would temporarily stop just as it did even with banking so <laughs> if we destroy the banks the economy would stop i mean the economy would stop if we if we you know if we if we shake it up if we mess it up if we interfere with its with its normal life cycle so the economy is going to uh, react by halting temporarily right so the economy would temporarily stop just as it did even with the banking all right so but th this would only be temper temporary all right b 
what would next what would happen next so be people would start lending and new banks would arise, right? Banks came to be, before there was a central bank, banks came to be in 12th or whatever, 16th century, somewhere, somewhere in history, banks popped into existence. So banks, if we destroy the banks, the banks would pop back into existence. It's not like that there's something special that we have done the history created banks for whatever good or bad reasons so banks would just come back into our lives people would start lending each other so so i have money or i have something worth something and you need it and you don't have something in return right now so okay so you know write me an iou boom that's money so we create money and we create debt and we have, I become, I, you know, I become a banker. I start lending stuff and uh, um, whatever, you know, however banks came about, banks would come about again. So people would start lending. But the point is that this professor only, she, the quote is banks were unwilling to lend. She said it would grind the economy to a halt. What she says is that it would grind or screech the economy into a halt. Halt means complete stop. Means we have to rescue the economy. We have to do something. That makes no sense. That's against history. and That's against logic. So one proof that it's against history and logic is that banks popped into existence. That's against history. And why wouldn't banks pop into existence? That's logic. People would start lending and new banks would arise. That would simply happen. C. New fiat and specie and asset-backed currencies would arise. These are some technical terms. Fiat means like a dollar bill. A bill, a piece of paper that has nothing backing it up except for, I wouldn't even say except for, just nothing backing it up. It's worthless. It, so that's fiat. So that's most current, that's all, all the currencies on the planet right now. Even Bitcoin, that's, that's fiat. So new fiat, right? People would start inventing like Bitcoin. Bitcoin is fiat. So I'll come, I'll come to this point, but, but Bitcoin would take over. Why wouldn't Bitcoin take over? So all the dollars go, you know, people would still use the dollars and they would use whatever, but they would also, they would also use Bitcoin. So new fiat, new types like, like Bitcoin and like the dollar bill. <laughs> would arise actually you know the, the, <laughs> it's bizarre that I, I i even have to discuss this but you know everything that has happened throughout history such as banking and and finance and currencies that have popped into existence they would pop again so new fiat would pop into existence just as it pops into existence all the time. Actually, in um, in in Greece and in countries where the economy has collapsed and there is runaway runaway inflation, those are places where people start trading using fiat and specie. We'll come. We'll explain specie. Um, and uh, people, you know, people. People trade using anything they can. All right, so what is specie? Specie is like gold or silver. That's money that is actually worth something. Uh, specie could even be tobacco leaves. That I think that's what specie is. So new specie money would 
come up, would, would come into would come into you know people would start circulating specie and asset backed currencies currencies that actually are backed by assets like um, that's how banking started you know they started with these um, uh, ledgers that's for the storage of the gold right so anyway so asset backed currencies like a piece of paper that says that this is worth something uh, people would use it as money people will start trading Okay, D. Bitcoin type alternative monetary systems would arise, obviously. E. People would give each other credit just as they do at the local grocery. You know, people would start, you know, writing. Uh, you, the Mr. Joe Schmo, owes uh, the grocery $120. So, you know, the. So, so groceries do it with with families and um, large f- firms and factories can do it with their large customers, even with countries. I mean, this is basically what banking is. Ultimately, it's it's just an administration. It's an ad- administration gone awry. It has. It has uh, it has been self it has been mangled. It has it has been deformed. It, it has been malfunctioning. It has been interfered with. But ultimately, but ultimately, uh, banking is just an administration. You know it's. To, when I when I was a child, to be a banker was the most boring thing a person can think of being. It's boring to be a banker. It's just registration. You just anyway. And today you don't need banking anyway because you you have central banks. Central banks can deal with all. You don't even need. You need one large. You you have PayPal. You have all these solutions that replace banking. Anyway, so uh, people would give each other credit, right? People would give each other credit. So you would say, no, people will not give each other credit because what do you, you don't have, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if you'll pay because I need the bank, the bank. You, you, you pay me with the credit card. I know the bank at the end of the month will deliver the money or give me a check so I know. No, you don't know. The credit card could be stolen and my check could be uh, forged. You don't know. Ultimately, we just believe each other. So, so um, sorry. All right, so let's go to F. If we eradicate banking completely, this was about destroying banks. What would be the result? Poof, banks and... Bank replacements would come in back into existence. F. If we eradicate, however, if we eradicate banking completely, will forbid banking. Basically, whatever. We'll pass laws. No more banking. So, if we eradicate banking completely, then prices would fall. That's it. That's all that would happen, right? Because, because um, if 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 you don't, if you're not if there is laws preventing us from banking, f- and, and let's say from from employing credit, so you must use cash, or you must use gold. You must use something when you purchase. So it will just some people will do it. Whatever it takes, people will do. I agree. In the first couple of days, people are going to uh, go into shock. And all business will stop. But then people are, you know, people are going to get hungry and they're going to want to eat. So they'll walk into a restaurant. They'll ask the restaurant owner, can you feed us? And he'll say, um... Uh, 
they'll say, we have no money. So so he'll say, well, you have no money at all. Well, they say, we have a little bit of cash. We're not going to pay you uh, $100 for the meal because... Because the bank stopped working, so all we have is a hundred dollars. So at most we'll pay you a dollar. So the restaurant owner, you know, will say, "No, I'm not going to take a dollar. It's a hundred dollar meal." But the restaurant owner's food is going to go. It's going to start rotting away, and he's he's not getting income. And and this is basically supply and demand. Since you have less money in the economy, you have a simple process called deflation. Prices will fall. That's it. So if we completely eradicate banking, then prices would fall. This is called de- de- deflation. Uh, as the supply of M1 bank accounts would shrink to the bare greenbacks. All this, let's say that all that's going to be left is just the greenbacks, just the green pieces of paper, the, the dollar bills. That's all that people have, and the coins, just the cash. No more bank accounts. All bank accounts would be erased. So, so all of the savings that people have will be erased. Okay, say a saving, my saving, that's just an administration. So the paper that remembers that I saved money, that's gone. So now there's no memory. Society, right? The bank is basically society. So society doesn't remember that I worked hard my whole life. So that's, that's, the, okay, so that's gone, all right? So if we eradicate banks, if we throw away banks, this is what, this is the worst case scenario what would have happened if the banks would, um, would have been allowed to um, self-destruct? That all of people's savings saved in the banks would be destroyed. Let's ignore the government guarantee for uh, whatever, $250,000. Ignore that. Let's say, let's say the government says, no, we're not going to back it up. All right. So people's savings, meaning people's memories or society's memories, that people have worked hard, yeah, whatever that means. It's not even clear what that means to work hard. But people, you know, so all the savings are gone. All right, so this is called, uh, like in the game, like in Monopoly, you shuffle the cards, you restart the game. So that's... That's the way it is, you know. You know, you, you were born, you had a good life, you were lucky, yeah, and now you're going to restart, you're going to be equal. So we'll create an egalitarian society. No, we're not going to even create. By allowing the banks to self-destruct or to, to be eradicated, by, by destroying the banks, we're creating, a, we're restarting society equally, basically, because people still have... You know, their car, everybody knows this is my car, everybody knows this is my house, everybody knows this is my clothes. So, or even it's registered to my name somewhere, right? We're not going to destroy all public records of, of all purchases ever. Just, just the bank accounts and related uh, uh, accounting stuff. All right, so, gee, do I really need to continue? I can, I can continue this forever. I mean, I simply don't understand. Uh, let's go back to the quote. 18 minutes, one second into the lecture. Banks unwilling to lend would grind economy to a halt. Basically, this is what she said. The, the lecture she gave is full of ridiculous, ridiculous... Uh, statements that make no sense. I mean, these are statements that are completely against microeconomy. It's like, it's like well, we'll come back to this. That makes no sense, and I, I really need to psychoanalyze the, the the whole economic profession. All right. Um, oh, I see. There's uh, some more stuff here. Let's just read it and finish. So in any case, banking is a parasitic institute, right? Banking doesn't produce anything. 
So if it exists, if the bankers enjoy life and they don't produce anything, so they, it's a one-way street, so they only enjoy it. That's a parasitic institute. But it cannot hurt the economy in the long run by disappearing, right? If banks disappear, they cannot hurt the economy. The end of bank, as I wrote here, bank, banking, the end of banking would be a great thing if it would ever happen. And hopefully it will, as it is a good for nothing activity. It's, it's as simple as that. There's nothing good, there's nothing productive about banking. All right, I'm going to stop here. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, basically, we will stop here. Thank you.